<sighs> I believe the clock just struck 6.27 p.m. Just a tad earlier than usual. But you know, this it's raining here in my uh, area of Riverside County. And uh, I had the door open a minute ago listening to the raindrops. And it's kind of peaceful, you know, really kind of peaceful. But I must tell you, uh, I try to be as honest as I can always be and candid. I had a very difficult day yesterday trying to keep my spirits up. Uh, not only um, had heard earlier in the week about the passing of a wonderful person by the name of Walter Bolduc. Uh, he died a day after his 91st birthday. And I also got word uh, a couple of days ago that another dear friend of mine has the, the virus and is at home not doing very well, but instructed not to go to the hospital. So although his breathing is labored, uh, it doesn't seem like he's, you know, critical, critical. And so, of course, probably the worst place for him to go right now would be the hospital. So, but anyway, I'm going to try to keep my something, something up. And like I said, if it wasn't for you, um, I could probably still be feeling really, really down. But you know, about 30 minutes ago, I said, okay, Rose, you're running out of time. Show starts in an hour. I had to jump up, take my shower, wash my hair, put on my face, and voila, here we are. <laughs> so thank you for joining me, you guys. I've got Alicia uh, Hutchin, is it Hutcherson? Hey, Lorena, hi, sweetheart, how are you, darling? Uh, Tanya Neff, I do thank you. I, like I said, um, doing this 30 minutes, hi, Brian, it helps me to lift my own self out of my my doldrums. I do have a history. Hi, Sister Tina. I do have a history of um, depression. And I know I'd be spouting all the wonderful words about do this, do that to keep yourself up. Well, sometimes I have to administer to myself. So, but anywho, hi, Dorothy. How are you? Good to see you, Joe Stanford, Deborah Powell. And uh, thank you, darling. <laughs> I said, now, Rose, how fast can you whip this face? Uh, so, anywho, this is it, darling. <laughs> so, since it's raining, you know, and, and because my mood wasn't the greatest yesterday nor today, I did not really practice with these tracks. So, we're just going to make it an organic, what did we call it the other day? We called it an organic musical snack. So... You know, hi, I can't even see without my glasses. So, hey, Ron Harris, how the heck are you, baby? I ain't seen you in a coon's age. Judy Wexler, Valencia, hey, sweetie. Girl, you, I'm going to have to send you a check. You'll be here for every, <laughs> for every show. And Scott Thompson. Uh, hey, Yvonne from New York area and um, Ruth Ann and Mark Peterson. Hi, honey bunch, Eric and Judith. Good to see you guys. Um, so anywho, like I said, we're going to keep it organic. And like my teacher said, if you forget a lyric, just keep going. Don't stop. Nobody will know. So uh, in honor of the rain, let's see what we've got in terms of volume here. We hope that everything is copacetic. <laughs> Deep as a river, come rain or come shine. I guess when you all met me, it was just, 
just one of those things. But don't ever bet me, cause I'm gonna be true if you let me. Happy together or unhappy together and won't it be fine? Days may be cloudy or sunny, yeah, but we're in or we're out of the money. you always. Hey Arthur, I'm with you, rain or come shine. Arturo Ponce. Hey, hey, hey. You're gonna love me like nobody's loved me. Come rain, come rain or come shine. Happy High as a mountain and deep and deep, deep as a river, and won't it be fine? Well, I guess, I guess, I guess when you met me at Woody's or Purple Room or Vicky's, <laughs> it was just one of those things. But Cause I'm gonna be true If you let me You're gonna love me Like nobody loved me Come rain or come shine Happy together All unhappy together and won't, and it won't, and won't it be fine? Oh, oh, we're in, we're in, 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 Yes, so how are you guys doing today? Is it raining where you are? Well, I know the sun never did really come out, at least here in my area, it did not. But I really, you know, when you're inside, <laughs> you can appreciate the raindrops. Uh, I would not feel quite the same if I, if I was out in it. But uh, let's see. Uh, oh, let, let me say this to you. Uh, I try as soon as the, um, as soon as is our musical session, our home serenade is over, I try to post it on YouTube as well because oftentimes I know a lot of the people that I know since I am 72, and I think, yeah, I'll be 73 this year, uh, a lot of the people in my generation, a lot of them don't even have internet. I know my sister is one. So um, there may be some friends you might want to share this concert with who may not be on Facebook. And so it will be on YouTube. And uh, this ordinarily, this being Tuesday, this evening I would have been at uh, the Purple Room Supper Club that's owned by Michael Holmes. And since, uh, hey Gil, how are you? Thank you, baby. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, and so, 
since I can't be at uh, the Purple Room on Tuesdays, I thought this is the best thing. You know, and there was a person, a friend who watched one of these uh, musical snacks who suggested that I, you know, fix it up so that you can give me a little something, something by way of PayPal. Well, I gave that a brief thought. And I, in my thought process, I felt like if I added money to it, and please, if there are those of you out there who want to do that, you know, hats off to you. But for me in my world, I just felt it would add a different texture to what I was doing if it was about adding the strings of paying money to do this. And so I do it because I love it and because it is kind of, in these last two days, it's certainly this day is a lifeline for me. So I hope to pick up my energy just a little bit because I don't want to bring you down in the doldrums. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? Um, I've got a wonderful friend out there. His name is Michael Frank. Now, Michael is the concierge for Club Trinidad. And, and that's the, uh, oh, I guess you could, the lodging place that's right next door to the Purple Room. And so we always kind of love to kind of chit chat with, with one another when I come in. And, and because by the time I'm done with the show at 9.30, he's already gone home. But okay, Michael. So if you're there, uh, I don't see your name up there, but hi, Libby. Hi, Jackie. Uh, Queenie, hi Queenie, and uh, Jonathan, oh gosh, oh my gosh, uh, we met a long time ago, hi Jonathan, I hope you are well with your beautiful loving family, Jonathan is one of those spirits who kind of like imparts words of wisdom, of spiritual wisdom, and uh, I see you Michael, fever is coming up next, <laughs> now again I said, I'm not too familiar with some of these tracks, but anywho, anyway, we gonna do it for you, Michael. Never know how much I love you. Never know how much I care When you put your arms around me I get a feeling that's too hard to bear You give me fever When you kiss me Fever when you're holding me tight Fever in the morning Fever all through the night oh. Of the daytime, moon lights up at night. I died up when you call my name, cause I know you're gonna treat me right. You give me fever, fever when you're holding me tight, fever in the morning, and fever all through. flame thou giveth fever when you kiss me fever when you live and learn oh fever oh I'm a fire yea though I burn for a suit oh now you've listened to my story and here's the point that I have made. Chicks were born to give you fever, be it fair or high or centigrade. They give you fever, fever. Mm -mm -mm. Fever till you sizzle. What a love. 
lovely way to burn. Oh my, oh my, ooh, fever, fever. For you, Michael Frank. How are you, darling, today? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm having a good time. You have certainly helped to lift my spirits. Thank you so very, 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 very much. And uh, you know, it is my goal not to uh, not to talk too much, but I don't want the show to go beyond 30 minutes because. I think it's better leaving you to want. I think having an hour show is kind of like overkill for, you know, live stream. I don't know. Perhaps if I had musicians, I may feel differently about it. But since just since it's just you and me and these tracks, it's just going to have to do. So, you know, oftentimes I tell you to hope that you're sitting in front of your whatever it is, your computer, your telephone, your iPad, or your tablet that you grab a snack and a drink. <laughs> so cheers to you. Cheers to love. Cheers to life. Ah. Okay, so. Now I know that uh, I sang, what did I, I, I sang already at a uh, previous show. Oh, well, let me do this one. Mm -hmm. I'd need to do something a little bit more up-tempo. So, okay, I know I've done this song at a previous home serenade, so, so just bear with me. I need something to pick my spirits up. And as I mentioned, this is a track, it's, it's, a, it's a rehearsal track, so you're going to hear somebody count one, two, three, four, but don't worry about that. That'll pass. One, two, one, two, three, four. You must take the A train to go to Sugar Hill way up in Harlem. If, if you miss the A train, you'll miss the quickest way to go to Harlem. Hurry, get on board, it's coming, yeah. Get on board, can't you hear those wheels are thrumming? All aboard, get on the A train. Soon you'll be on Sugar Hill way up in Harlem, yeah. So uh, if you've got a horn out there, or a bass, and you want to play along with this track, please feel welcome to do so. I'm going to shut up for a minute. Hey, Terrace. Tammy. Woo! <laughs> you must take the A train to go to Sugar Hill way up in Harlem. If you miss, if you miss the A train, oh, you'll miss the quickest way to go to Harlem. Hurry, get on board now, it's coming. Well now, can't you hear those wheels throw man all aboard? Get on train. Soon you'll be on Sugar Hill, way up in Harlem. 
dedicate uh, this series to all of my friends who who are musically inclined. Now, I have a lot of friends, of course, since I usually perform in Palm Springs, I have a huge community of singers and musicians there. But as well as in Los Angeles, like I see, uh, uh, I see uh, Lorena, and uh, Lorena and I go way back a couple of years when we were both working as secretaries downtown Los Angeles. We would catch the bus going to the train station so that we could go our separate ways, you know. And on that bus, I don't know, she thought I was funny. I thought she was funny. <laughs> and we would laugh so loud and have such a good time. But as I was saying, hey there, Hope, uh, got a lot of friends who are singers and uh my hat's off to you, everyone. I don't want to start naming too many names because if I leave somebody out, somebody's feelings going to get hurt. Isn't that right, Patty? <laughs> Patty Van Satin. Hey, sweetie, how are you? And uh, so I just want to say during these trying times, uh, find something that's going to make you happy to survive this, uh, this health challenge that we're all, all experiencing. But I do want to say, please keep yourself. If you don't have to go out, don't. Some of the things that I hear some of my friends saying that they're going out to get, I'm saying to myself, really? But hey, it's your life. You suffer the consequences. And uh, just because I said that doesn't mean that you're going to go out and catch the corona, you know. 
but just be careful. Just be mindful, okay? So now, uh, hi, Jackie. I think, yeah, that's, you know, I'm not really blind. For the, I almost had to look on my head to see if I... <laughs> Hi, Benetta Millette. How are you, darling? Now, we met briefly. I believe, Benetta, you and I met at Kaiser. Uh, and she was one of the intake uh, personnel, and we realized that we had the same kind of last name. And uh, so we've been trying... Hi, Larry. Mr. Nash, how are you, darling? So we've been keeping up with each other, sort of on Facebook. So it's always nice because you never know. Shoot, my daddy could be her. No, he's not your daddy. <laughs> don't let me, don't let me act too much of a fool. Okay. All right. So enough of that chatter, Rosemary. Okay. So what's next? What's next? All right, come on, Rosemary, with yourself. Ah, there. What color of my dreams and light the dawn? Look into my eyes, my love, and all the lovely things that you are to me I wish a little star was far too high a teardrop kissed your lips and so so did I Shall we cha cha? All right. 
right, Lori Bono. I know if you were listening to that, you said, okay, now don't strain. And I was about to go straight because that key was a little higher than I usually sing that song in. But, you know, because, uh, you know, I lost my voice last June. And I lost my voice because I was singing a lot and probably, hey, Sharon Sells, hey there, sister girl. Uh, I was uh, singing much too hard and, and singing too often, I suppose. But thank goodness it did not require surgery. I just needed to shut my mouth. And so I've tried to alter my approach to singing uh, per my lovely sister Lori's advice. She said, I love your low tones. Okay. Don't sound so exciting to me. But anyway, there is a singer out there who sings predominantly with low tones and uh, Liz Wright. Oh, boy, you're talking about a lush, low voice. Liz Wright. If you're not familiar with that name as a singer, check her out. L-I-Z-Z. -Z. Liz Wright. Oh, man. So, okay. Um, now when I remember spring and all the joy that love can bring, I will be remembering the shadow of your smile. Uh, let me see what time it are. What? 6.58? I got two minutes? No. <laughs> Why did somebody tell me to shut up and stop talking so much? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So, look. All right, I'm going to end with a ballot, and I may end with a, I may go over 30 minutes just because I, you know, I, 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 time, boy, I tell you, when you're having fun, right? Uh, okay, so I have to make a decision. Which one am I going to do? Okay, so I think I'm going to do uh, one of the songs from my uh, Sarah Vaughn show which is, uh, don't know when we're going to do that again, but hopefully we will do that again. Show written by, co-written by, um, oh, Father in Heaven, Steel. Somebody help me. What's the first name? Steel. Uh, shoot. I'm embarrassed. Ken. Ken Steele. I, I had a brain fart just for a minute. Ken Steele co-wrote that with me, but he wrote the bulk of it. And so I uh, hope to get that on board some other time. So now I'm going to do, I'm going to do two others. Okay. Bob Jasper. Mahalo. Mahalo. <laughs> uh, that, oh, oh, KJ, you know, for a minute, the, the quote says, sing, bitch. And I thought, I don't know a song named Bitch, but <laughs> thank you, KJ. <laughs> ah! <laughs> there I go, running my mouth. <laughs> Whatever Lola wants, Lola gets, and little man. Little Lola wants you Make up your mind to have No regrets Recline yourself, resign yourself, you're through I always get What I am And your heart and soul is what I came for. Whatever Lola wants, <sighs> Lola gets. Take off your coat, don't you know you can't win? Your 
are no exception to the rule. I'm irresistible, you fool. Give in. I always get what I aim for. And your heart and soul is what I claim for. Take off your coat, mm. don't you know you can't win? You're no exception to the rule. I'm irresistible, you fool. Give in, give in. Cha cha cha. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Well, we we made that one work. <laughs> well, okay. So thank you everybody for joining me for this home serenade here in my living room. Our little musical snack. And uh, I don't know I. As often as I put out their words of, of uh, wisdom, as you could call it, of encouragement, I'm going to encourage myself today because uh, I want you to know we all have down days, but as long as you're aware that it's, it's only temporary. You know, sometimes I just, you know, stay low all day long, but I know that there's something that I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to unscramble something that uh, is a challenge. And so it's all good. You know, I may be a little sad yesterday and a little bit today, but it's all good. You have made all the difference. But as a vocalist, I say to myself, I don't do this to become famous. I do this because it makes me happy. And it makes me even more happy to make you happy. So this last song I'm going to do is called If I Never Sing Another Song. I heard Shirley Bassey sing it at the Hollywood Bowl. And it's on my CD entitled Building Dreams, which is available on at the Apple Store and CD Baby. And so I'm going to sing this song. I And it is a testimony, actually, to how I feel about singing. So I present this last one to you. Let me see. Let me get it, cue it up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if I never sing another song, my spirit will have been fed. Young men wrote to me Everybody seemed to have time To devote to me Everyone I saw All swore they knew me Once upon a song Main attraction couldn't buy a seat The celebrities, celebrities Would die to meet I've had every accolade Bestowed on me And so you see If I never sing enough
it wouldn't bother me. I've had my share of fame. You know my name. If I never sing another song Or take another bow I would get by But I'm not sure Always posing, but you love it all. Though you have to learn to act like you're above it all. Everything I did, the world applauded. Once upon a star. Citations hung on every wall. I've got a scrapbook full of quotes. I can't recall them all. There was a time I felt the world belonged to me. And so you see. I never sing another song It wouldn't bother me I've had my share of fame You all know If I never sing another song Or take another, another bow I would get by But I'm not sure But I'm not sure I love you Be well Be safe Read something that's uplifting Listen to something that's uplifting Talk to somebody. And uh, Sheila, hi, honey. You all in Memphis? Is that where you guys live now? Thank you so very much. Um, I'm going to read all of these comments and again, uh, and try to answer all of them. And again, this will be posted on uh, YouTube within the next, oh, I should say next hour, actually. And uh, if there's something that you might want me to sing next week, um, of course, I will try to do that. And of course, I didn't say anything to my honey, Myron Taylor. Myron, honey, are you out there? Love you. Miss you. So I'll talk to you guys next, uh, what? Oh, the next show is Saturday. The next show is Saturday at uh, 5 o'clock on Pacific Standard Time. For those of you who are watching, you know, in New York and Honolulu and so on and so forth, recognize that the time that I post is for Pacific Standard Time. So look for me accordingly. So until we meet again, uh, be well, be safe. I love you.